I'm Robin from CookingMexicanRecipes.com and today we're making some guacamole. Now before I get into the recipe, I want to talk to you a little bit about our ingredients. We're going to start off with the Haas avocado. This is really the best avocado to use for guacamole and in my opinion it's the best avocado to just eat in general because of the high oil content that it contains. It's just a it's superior uh, avocado. There is another avocado out on the market. It uh, comes from Florida and it's called the West Indian avocado and that one, believe it or not, has 20 to 50 percent less fat. So if you're interested in that, you might want to try that. The next ingredient for our guacamole today is uh, tomato. And if you've got homegrown tomatoes, you know those are the best ones to use. Uh, our next ingredient is uh, I have a can of chili Ortega and these are roasted Anaheim chilies. The, the Ortega brand is the best brand that I've seen out there. You'll need a little diced onion. This is just some yellow uh, onion and we'll need some salt. Before we start our recipe, it's really important to wash your hands. So I'm going to do that real quick. So we're going to start with our avocados. Now when you go to the store and pick, pick one of these out, you're looking for an avocado that has some give to it. When you pick it up in your hand and you squeeze it and it gives. It's not mushy, but it gives. That way you know that that avocado is going to be able, you're going to be able to scoop it out. Okay, so in cutting open your avocado, slice your blade in and rotate your avocado around it and then squeeze it open. There's a number of ways in which you can remove that seed. I see people taking knives and whacking them like this and you got to be careful with that because that knife can end up in your hand if that seed cracks. Just, the safest way is just stick your hand in there and just dig the seed out. So I'm going to scoop out the flesh, use a spoon. Now sometimes your avocados have brown or black spots in them and you can just pick those out. We're going to slice up our tomato. I'm going to make some thin slices in one direction. Cut it up the other direction. I'm going to add a handful of onion. Sprinkle that in. And I'm going to add some chili Ortegas. I'm going to add two of those. And I'm going to chop away. I want to make sure all the, all the uh, ingredients are chopped up pretty small. But I'm not going to be putting any lime or lemon juice in this recipe. People do that because they want to have, they want to keep the guacamole from turning brown. And I, I just don't like the flavor. I don't, we've never made it that way. And I also don't have any cilantro. But if you like to add those things, feel free to do that. It's pretty good. And I'm going to add it to the guacamole. I'm going to add a pinch of salt. And I'm going to mash it. Now I do want to mention that this is the best masher that you can use to make guacamole. It has a lot of open space so that you don't make mush out of your guacamole basically. So we just mash it up. If you want to add some hot sauce to this recipe, feel free to do so. You can buy any of those uh, jars of hot sauce at the store and add a little for a little zip or you can leave it out. It's perfectly good without it too. I'm going to taste the guacamole and see if it needs any more salt. Mmm, it's good. It needs a little more salt though. So add a little more and you can keep doing that until you get it just right. I'll stir it up again. Try that again. That's good. And there you go. So when I make guacamole in my house, my kids come in and they swoop down like vultures and this stuff just disappears like crazy. Hey, see what I mean? <laughs> well, thanks for stopping by and be sure and visit CookingMexicanRecipes.com for more Mexican recipes that you can make at home. And remember, it's got to be hot to be good.